Hello, welcome to Connect the Testimonies. Would you like to share a testimony? Yes, I would. My name is Sarai and I'm going to share my testimony. I come raised from a Catholic home and in January 24, 2009, I knew about God, but I needed more at the time. God defeated death upon my eyes. I was literally in my room reaching out. I was going to hang myself that day, January 24, 2009. I was depressed, I was upset, I was lost. I, everything was just wrong. When I was two years old, my father had an affair, or peace, or maybe an adventure, who knows, and he caught something called AIDS, HIV. I was two years old, I don't have it. He gave it to my mom. By the age of seven, my mother told me when we left him, the day before Christmas Eve, December 23rd, 1997, she told me in a, in a domestic violence shelter for women, she, she told me why we left my dad, and she told me the disease that they both carried. I went to 13 different schools after that. We were on Section 8, and we would always have to get yearly vouchers and just move. It was messing up my education. I'm an only child. I don't have family here. They're all in Mexico or out of state. I was becoming bitter, angry. I was frustrated. I was depressed. And I put all my dreams on the side to think of them. Besides that, my mother made a choice. I mean, these people are sick, you know, they're HIV positive. So I, I, I had to put myself, I took my, my daughter's shoes off and I put on my friend shoes on. God gave me that wisdom to understand better and to survive. So after that, she got a boyfriend. I was a slave. I was sexually harassed for seven years in my own home. He never once touched, touched me, thank God. But it was all verbal. The worst things that I never thought mankind could ever say to a young lady. So I told my mom to make a choice. I was 19 and I had became a Christian at 19. I was January 24, 2009. And she chose her boyfriend. And my dad, I could never find him. So it was just me by myself in this big, large planet. And I told God, January 24th, discover my loneliness so I will cooperate with you in the salvation of the earth. And I kid you not, it was so supernatural. It was like this little shooting star because I was in my room and I was already thinking, where am I gonna hang my rope? And I was like, God, I was literally like this, hey fool, this is your chance, God forgive me, but I was so frustrated, I was like, just like I believe I'm in this room, just like I believe there's this bed next to me, I'm going to stop believing in that, Lord, and I'm going to believe in you, and he did, he came into my heart, I went to church that night, January 24, 2009, I accepted the Holy Spirit as my Savior, and it's been the best decision I will do all my life. Amen. The people, the people out there thinking of suicide and depression, what can you tell them? What can you tell them? Bible. Basic, basic instructions be, before leaving earth. It's a promise because the Bible says it so. I can do all things through Christ. I will walk in the valley of death and feel fear no evil. You must know your avenues. The Bible isn't just something that anyone can read it. If you don't have the spirit in you, you will be looking at it with eyes of mankind. That's why you don't understand the word. If you have the spirit in you, you'll look at it with eyes of spirit and you will feel that and you will know that that is the way and the truth. And trust me, once you feel God's love, you're never gonna wanna go back. Even if they give you gold, it's not worth it. Because I, had, I thought I had it all. I didn't know how to love. Jesus taught me how to love. Not my mom, not my dad, and you know what? I forgave him, and guess what? He gave me my parents back. He gave me everything back, and greater things are yet to come. And counseling and all that, you know what? God is my everything. I'm not worried about it. And now I'm just praying for my husband. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited about, I'm gonna have kids, we're gonna love each other, we're gonna travel. I mean, God, in the end, we all get favor. The victory is his. He did not send his only son for nothing. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, sister, for coming on Connected Testimonies. Lord bless you. God bless you, too.